Okay, so the purpose of this video is to basically demonstrate how to take a CSV file or a tab delimited text file and be able to show that it is scheduled. It's a little bit more than that because in this case, SiteWorks, uh, we're generating data inside of Revit that isn't schedulable or you can't create a schedule from it so this is the workaround basically going through AutoCAD and you might have a similar circumstance with other program or outside data that you want to get into Revit and this might be the way to accomplish that depending on you know what you have anyway at, at, uh, from the get-go so what we'll do here is I'm gonna to go to uh, SiteWorks and SiteWorks will generate these reports which are in a, a CSV format or you could do tab limited file but we'll do CSV and I'm going to just click on the ellipsis here, specify that it goes to the desktop. We're going to call this Street Schedule, and then hit Save, and then Export. The export's complete. The CSV file opens great, and we're going to eventually get that back into uh, Revit here as a schedule. So the next step would be then to go to AutoCAD, and we're going to create a new file here. Just use the out-of-the-box template. And what we'll do is we'll go to the Home tab, the Table tool, click on that, and we're going to link this to a data link. All right, and I'll click on this little button. Click on the Create a New Excel Data Link. Call it Street Schedule. Click OK. And then I'll browse for that CSV file that we created. You might have to change your... Uh, file preference there. So I'll click on that. It'll show me a preview and notice you can choose what ranges if you don't want the entire table. That's fine. I'll click OK. Bring the whole thing in. And basically I click OK three times and then place the street schedule. Let me save this AutoCAD file and I'll call this street schedule again and hit save. Save it here. We'll close down AutoCAD, and then once we've done that, let's go ahead and back in Revit, I'm going to create a view called a drafting view. Keep it at 1-1 one, one scale here, and then I am going to make sure and link in the CAD file. So I'll find that here. Let's just browse out here, desktop, street schedule, bring in center, center, zoom to fit. There it is. Okay, let's drag and drop this onto the sheet. And obviously you might go ahead and actually rename this called Street Schedule. It makes sense, right? Okay, so we'll do that. Drag and drop it onto the sheet. There you go. You know, if it's a typical schedule, you don't like to see the view title. And let me select that again. Change the viewport to no title. There we go. So there's our schedule. Now the whole idea behind this too is that once you got it in, it may need to update. And in this case, let's say here in Revit, I'll activate the view, and let's say that the street is modified and there's you know just a different type of street. So let me do that real quick. Site works, modify the street, and then change the type that that will give us different quantities. Click OK, hit apply here, and sure, and go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, and so basically we've got a different street. The whole idea then is that we want this to update, but it's not going to update immediately. What we'll do here is we'll generate another report with the new street data here, and let's just kind of make sure that things kind of don't match each other. Uh, yeah, so we've got uh, different, uh, we've got curb information now we didn't have before. So what I'll do is I will then browse out here. I want to overwrite what we already have and then export it to that file. We'll overwrite that. Close. There we go. It's a different schedule. Click OK. And then close it here. Now, it may be possible. It kind of depends here. I'm going to reload this. I'm not counting on this immediately changing. I may have to actually reload it in the CAD, and I do. So let's, let's do that. So I'll open up the CAD file, which let me open this up. Drawing. We'll browse out to my desktop here. And there it is. And, you know, you may get something like this. The data link has changed, so I'll update the table. And notice that the data has gone ahead and updated. All right, we'll just spread that out a little bit. We'll save it. And we'll close it. So the link is updated. Now we just go back to Manage Links, Cat Formats, Reload. 
and it reloads here because obviously this is linked to the CAD file that, that we just were, was looking at. So that would be kind of the workflow for that as you go ahead and work with um, site work specifically, but really any CSV file or tab delimited text file that you might be using for scheduling or you might like to use in Revit for scheduling.